Yo, what's up, people? This is the one and only Bone Buckler Iron Cuts, you get me? I know it's a bit late, yeah? Well, it's never too late, but for next year, you guys and girls can learn from this. So, first of all, shout out to my man, Afroburn LT. Go follow him. I'll put his socials in the description. He put out a Q&A for Valentine's Day, yeah? This year, I thought Valentine's Day was a bit of a weird thing, so I just wanted to go back and see if it was just me or was, like, everybody feeling the same way. Bruv, some of the shit people wrote. So, he put it out on his um, page, yeah? On the highlights. On Valentine's Valentine's Day, it was a story. It was a story on the page, I think. So let me just read it out for you and we go ahead from there, yeah? So uh, the post was like this. Valentine's Day might be over, but let's hear how it went for you. Share your favorite or least attractive Valentine's Day memory. Man. I already feel like this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> we had dinner at 5.30 because he wanted to watch football later on. Stupid football. Okay, obviously that's a girl watching that. Nothing beats Champions League nights. <sighs> <laughs> Raw girl. Yo, that girl. Yo, girl. Whoever wrote that, if you're listening, you will never replace football. Trust me. Next one. Next one. Another one. Don't even have a Valentine's Day memory, good or bad. Huh? What do you mean? You never had a Valentine's? Or you just had like very basic, flatline, boring Valentine's? This is what my man wrote. Afro burn, bruh. You're raw sometimes. Darling, you need to start making more memories. Let's go again next year. Better luck next year, babe. In it. All right, bro. Yo, then people started writing flipping stories and shit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sharing mine here because it's too long for the chat box. This happened last year when I lived in London. Early on the 14th, he said he dropped his phone to fix as the screen is broken and he's messaging from his iPad. When he gets home, he'll pull out his old phone but isn't sure where he dropped the charger. I didn't hear from him until 2.37 p.m. on the 15th. <laughs> Bruv, G, absolute G. And I, do, I don't know why that girl didn't see that one coming. Anyway, but <laughs> that's fucked up. Yo, you guys actually still do, guys still put in the effort to do all of this shit. I don't understand, bruv. I would lose my patience. The reply was, don't you hate it when you don't remember where you left your old charger? I hope he found the charger or fixed the broken screen though. Afroburn, you know exactly what you're doing, bruv. You need to slow down. <laughs> it's getting crazy. 2019, her dad surprised the family that morning with a trip to Spain. Did she tell you that, man? Don't, something don't sound right. It sound like, <laughs> was that her next boyfriend's name? Trip to Spain. Blood. The reply was, I'm glad her dad saved her from whatever you had planned. <laughs> How can you write raw shit like this? Bro, Afro Bird is going on mad, bro. You guys are moving mad. All right, man. She said she had diarrhea, but but uses my AirPod and find my app said she was in Trakai. Bro, first of all, why is she telling you she has diarrhea? That's a bit mad still. This is the woman you want to be with? Anyway, and it says she was in Trakai. Bro, you know what's up. Wait, do you guys share that shit? Diarrhea? Damn. City girls are up by 150 points here. That was the reply. <laughs> That's rough. Yo, I can't lie though, bro. I gotta agree with Afro Burn on this one, yo. City girls are moving mad out here. All the guys, all you guys that think you got one of these girls or you, or they're the only ones, you're the only ones they're chatting to or something, you're all... <laughs> you fucked. But good luck though. Good luck in Lithuania. Yeah, no problem. Next one, bruv. My story is too long. I'll text it here. I think I'm going to win with the worst Valentine's Day story contest. We couldn't celebrate Valentine's Day together because he was working. Turns out his work was a blonde girl. <laughs> He doesn't know how I know about this, but he will find out today. And I'll come to Afro Party as a single girl. Oh, shit, brethren. Yo, does anybody know what how this drama unfolded? I don't even know, bro. Because I remember the Afro Party, I think it was 18th of Feb, 2023. That's the party she's talking about, apparently. Don't have to tell me any names, but let me know what drama unfolded on that one. Because this girl looked like she on a mission, you get me? Looks like she's on a mission to hurt this dude. But the dude probably don't care still. But yo... Oh, that's a bit deep, that one. My husband really went out for this one as we tried to show love without physical gifts. So I'll list some of the things he did. Oh, list. Okay. Sorry, man. He made plans for dinner at a lovely restaurant. He planned a taxi service so we could drink and not worry about driving. He made the chef know to remove things that I'm allergic to. We got back by nine, prepared 
the little ones to sleep, bathed both of them, bathed both of them, washed their mouth and pampered them to sleep, yeah. Picked a lovely movie for us to watch on Netflix. I don't want to say he hasn't done anything in the house since then, but I'll let it slide. You know what? That sounds like a strong relationship. I'm actually happy for you guys. Let's see the reply though. Gotta give it up here for my brother. It's the little things that matter. For real, bruv. Yo, if you love that woman and she makes you feel good and she's loyal and she makes your home, bro, there's no reason why she does not deserve that she deserves every single thing you did for her that day i'm happy that true love is still out there man continue you guys i'd like to know who you are but you know this is an anonymous q a let's see this shit she said her roommates had covid so we couldn't meet should i even answer that one or is it pretty obvious to you that her new man's called covid she got covid you got loneliness Long distance is hard, but we tried to FaceTime a lot. Ah, always stay connected, guys. That was the reply, bro. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Long distance is hard, but we tried to FaceTime a lot. Are you guys still together or you left each other or what happened? Like, we tried. Uh, in my personal opinion, long distance, there's no point. All right, here's one here. Spent it with my pussy. Huh? Before you get excited, I'm talking about my cat okay okay fine <laughs> should have just left it at the first half though we have got way more likes let's see the next one got drunk and my ex <sighs> damn i don't know what to say man i mean i'm usually the ex or your boyfriend's worst nightmare but afro burn bruv as i always say a win is a win raw bro that's a bit raw i remember having a breakup on that day okay care to elaborate Maybe a bit more details. I show my wife love every day, so no need for a special day to prove that. Oh, man. Okay, these guys are definitely in trouble. Are these, uh, maybe these are the kind of people that post them pictures every day, you know, like the couples that are in trouble. Have you ever noticed the couples that are in love, they never post pictures that are truly, genuinely in love and happy with each other. And the ones that are posting every single day, there's always something, there's something wrong in that, I'm sure. If it's genuine, bro, respect, innit? You're right, every day, you show your wife love every day. That's the right way to go. Three years ago, my girlfriend forgot her phone at my place and we couldn't communicate. Yeah, that's also an old trick. I don't know, man. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but how many other occasions has she left her phone? <laughs> Afroburn replied, What is it with leaving phones or chargers behind? You know exactly what it is, bruv. But it's all good. Let's see the next one. All right, we can kind of guess who that, but we can't say the name. But you know who I'm talking about. You get me? Every day is a special day, mate. Let's show love her day. That was Afro Burns' reply. I agree. Uh, love the girl them every day. I agree. Every day is a special day. Mm, not sure. I pretended to sleep early and see if he'll be upset. I caught him watching porno after 15 <laughs> I don't think girls know, but a lot of porn sites give one week free around Valentine's, yeah? So if you're withholding sex on Valentine's, we have new material to watch. So don't worry about it. Shout out to Pornhub. Also sharing mine here as it's quite long. We went to Drus Skininke and his toxic ex was working at the front. <laughs> That, that's the kind of shit I like to see. We waited for two hours to get our room and all she could say was there was a mix up somewhere as they are overbooked. When we got into the room, it was all dusty. So how was a dusty room overbooked? Uh, she's still getting mad. She's still getting mad even though she knows the ex is doing this on purpose. She's doing this on purpose. Bro, the ex. Yo, if my toxic, we went to, and his toxic ex, bro, if my toxic, yo, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say the places, but there's a lot of places I cannot eat out here. There's a lot of places I can't eat, I can't go to. Toxic exes are dangerous, bro. Can't lie, bro. She has every right to be kind of worried about that. And you as a guy, if you're not worried, man, you might be a fruity guy, bro. I don't know. Something ain't right. We don't need balance time day to show that we love no for forced gifts and forced attention you go girl i wonder how much followers this person has on an instagram because mm. there's no forced attention on instagram you know that yeah people just post not for likes but we all like gifts not to forced attention of course afro burn reply this one seems kind of pissed off that you know she i don't i don't even know if it's a she or a he but this person seems kind of pissed off that valentine's day dropped on the day they're having a bad mood mad all right at this point i just want to meet a nice guy that lives in vilnius at your party 
Okay, okay. I actually respect that honesty. So guys and girls, you want to get with someone, Afro burn parties, the one and only, the best in Lithuania, Vilnius. They do the best Afro parties around. Check them out. You can find all the people writing on this and maybe you can leave your phones a couple of places too. So anyway, mad shout out to my guy, Afro burn. LT, go check it out. Go check out his page, go check out the socials, uh, a lot more events coming up soon, and maybe even see me there sometime. I don't know. Man's making moves, bro. I ain't really got time to play around in clubs and shit. But yeah, catch you guys next time, innit?